Rosie. This is a story about Rosie, a chirpy tank engine who liked to copy Thomas. This made Thomas cross until one day, Rosie proved just how useful she can be. It was a stormy season on the island of Sodor, and Thomas was busy delivering mail to a far part of the island. And at the end of the line, on a farm at the top of a high hill, lived a little girl named Alice. Today was Alice's birthday, and Thomas was delivering all her birthday cards and presents. While Thomas is with the station being loaded up, Rosie, a little purple tank engine, pulled up beside him. Hello, Thomas, puffed Rosie. Her puff was was almost like Thomas's. Rosie, Rosie tried to do everything and just like Thomas. She tried to wish he should like him. She tried to whistle like him. Rosie liked Thomas so much that she wanted to be just like him. Thomas didn't like this. It made him cross. Where are you going? asked Rosie. To Alice's birthday party, replied Thomas. I'm taking her presents to High Farm. I'm going to make sure her she get it's all of them in time. Just then, Harold swooped down. I'm afraid there's a storm warning, he whirred. You have to be careful on those high tracks, Thomas. The winds can cause a landslide up there. Thomas didn't want it to let Alice down. Hi, hey winds don't bother me, he puffed. Or me, puffed Rosie. I can come as your back engine. But Thomas didn't want Rosie to come. No, thank you, Rosie. I'll manage on my own. He puffed. He chucked and pulled away quickly. But Rosie, he didn't... But Rosie wanted, wouldn't take a no for an answer. She, he cheekily followed after him. Thomas speeded along the line to Hard Farm. His engine and it was working very hard. The sky was growing darker and, and darker. And soon, it was pouring rain. Rosie can't follow me now, he thought. She's not strong enough. But Thomas was wrong. Ro Rosie, he was following right behind. She whistled cheerfully. Thomas was very annoyed. When Tom Thomas came to the next junction, he could either take the longer or easier track to High Farm or the shorter and harder track. Thomas knew that the longer way was safer, especially in stormy weather. I'll take the shorter track, he wished. Then Rosie won't follow me. Thomas puffed furiously up the steep track as the storm grew stronger and stronger. Thomas was sure her Rosie he couldn't be behind him now. All of a sudden, there was a loud crack. Stones tumbled down the from, from the bank in front of Thomas. They covered the track completely. Thomas couldn't go forwards. Cinders and ashes, he cried. What is Thomas going to do now? No, he still wanted to deliver her Alice's presents, but the track was blocked. I'll just have to bash my way through. He thought. Soon Thomas was up to his buffers in mud and stones. He tried to put them on, but he couldn't. He tried to back out, but he couldn't. Thomas was stuck. Peep, peep, 
whistle. Another engine was coming up the track. It was Rosie. Thomas felt very silly. He, really, but he was glad to see Rosie. I'll go and get help, she chuckled. Wait, peeped Thomas. Would you deliver Alice's presents for me? <laughs> Rosie was very happy that Thomas had asked her to deliver Alice's presents. Of course I will, she puffed happily. Soon Rosie was coupled up to Thomas's trucks. She pulled away and steamed back, 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 back to the longer, safer track, back to High Farm. Thomas was waiting for Rosie. He, he was very happy Rosie had followed him, him after all. Very soon Rosie he came puffing and back down the line. Alice's mother, Alice's mother has phoned for has telephoned for help, she told Thomas. Edward is coming to pull you out. Then Thomas noticed that Rosie had a passenger on board. It was Alice. Thank, thank you for making sure my, for I got all my presents, Alice told Thomas. They were very nice. I couldn't have done it without Rosie's help. Of Thomas. Now we can celebrate your birthday together. Thomas would peeped happily. Rosie peeped too, just like Thomas.